with my poofy poofy hair you guys didn't let me know how you like the hair you didn't let me know let me know how do you like this i really really love it guys i really really love it so so cheap i went to this um beauty supply in california on hillcrest area and i was looking around for hair to just do by myself like this crochet hair because i did not want to go and spend any 200 dollars to go and get any braids or anything else i'm like let me just do something quick on my own that I know how to do that can last me at least three weeks. So I'm going around, walking around, walking around. And here I go in the back, back, back. I don't know why they put this in the back. Here goes some nice Afro hair like this. that I'm like, oh, this will blend so good with my natural hair. Because I've been struggling, you know, like finding hair that can blend in with my own natural hair. Like the straight ones, I have to do a lot to try to blend it because my hair is natural. And also the natural it is, is like real thick <laughs> type of natural. So I'm like, when I saw this hair, I was like, oh my goodness, let me try and see how it works. And it's amazing. It's great. It doesn't shrink. It doesn't do anything. It's just, it's just so nice. It's just like what I wish my natural hair was like, like literally as big and puffy and carefree as possible. I don't have to comb it. All I do is just do this. I don't even know if they have this kind of hair on Amazon. Anyway, if I do find it, I'll link it down below. Okay. Even though this video is all about nursing, <laughs> let's talk about hair too, right? Anyway, guys, this video is really to just talk about why is it? Let me take a look at myself and see if I'm looking good for this video. Because sometimes, you know, when you're a mom hey, and you'll be working here, hey, if you don't be careful, you just disgrace yourself <laughs> with your looks. <laughs> I don't want to disgrace myself. So let me just adjust. Uh -huh, look at the color. Aye. Okay. Anyway, even though nothing matches. Anyway, this video this video is to really really talk to you the one who has filled the NCLEX are in more than once more than twice more than three times more than twice more than five more than size i think after more than six times there's really a problem but it's really to be honest to those who have filled the NCLEX are in multiple times if you have felt the NCLEX RN your first time, it's okay. Maybe it is just a strategy. Maybe you just need to just take a couple more questions to get more comfortable and familiar with the type of questions that the NCLEX RN brings to you. Maybe that's all that you need to do. But if you've noticed that you've failed once, you now failed twice, you now failed three times. Now, this is what I think most people are struggling with. It could be a different thing, but I strongly urge you to sit down and make an assessment of what it is in your heart that you feel like the issue is, and then try to sort it out from there. Most of the time, it is a strategy problem. It is just feeling like you're not confident enough with the answer you just pick something um NCLEX doesn't really work that way the number one reason why people fail the NCLEX is second guessing yourself is second guessing second guessing double guessing not being sure questioning yourself two three four times picking the answer after you've questioned yourself two three times and not focusing at the question at hand in most standardized tests NCLEX included, that's not the way to go. And I am, I, I can tell you that when I took the ACT back in high school, that's how I was. Nobody taught me how to take strat like strategic exams. And so what I was doing is because I, I, you know, I wasn't so comfortable. I was already anxious. I felt like the content, I wasn't confident enough with the content. If I'm asked a question, I'm, I mean, I may do it the first time. Maybe like say it's a math question. I would solve it the first time. Maybe I'll get the answer, but then I'm thinking in my head, like, what if that's the wrong answer? And I need to pick B instead of A, you know? So now I start doing another problem, um, another problem solving and get maybe B or C. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the real answer because the first answer I gave myself, I wasn't confident. Then now I picked the second answer from the second problem I tried to resolve. And now the answer is completely wrong. Go with your gut feeling. Go with your first answer. Don't second guess. Don't second question yourself. Now, of course, if you know for sure that what you did the first time, what you how you answered the first time, that's not... Um, follow the guidelines on how you should strategize answering your questions, then of course I would say yes, 
Think about it one more time. Use what is common sense and what you've been taught to answer the questions and pick the right answer. In nursing, the NCLEX RS is made in such a way that, and I've said this many times, is made in such a way that you need to prioritize. All they want you, they want to make sure is that you, the nurse, know how to be safe. You, the nurse, know how to <laughs> know how to prioritize. You, the nurse, know how to judge. You need to use your judgment in any situation, any occasion. So if you are not confident with these things, that is where we have an issue, okay? Most of the time, it's not the content because if you were able to graduate from nursing school with your BSN or with your ADN, that means the content is enough because there's not amount of content that you can, you, you have to be sitting down, quizzing your brain to learn to, to be a good nurse out there. Let me tell you straight, when you start working in the hospital, when you start working home care, when you start working in the field out there, you are going to encounter illnesses that you have never even seen in the book. But what will help you is your judgment. How do the doctors do it? It is what they've learned that's helped them gain that judgment. Help them, they, they apply what they've learned, their confidence to the new scenarios. And it is the same for nursing. Okay, it is the same for nursing. So please don't second guess yourself. Don't keep double questioning yourself. The question is what it is. So answer what you know. Don't question yourself like, oh, maybe this is like this. Or maybe this is what they mean. Or maybe this is what they think. Or maybe start creating another scenario as to why this scenario is this way. And then you go and pick a completely unnecessary answer. I used to do that. You know, maybe they're asking me this one because they want me to think of this one or they want me. No. When you are faced with some type of situation, that's the situation you need to take care of. Okay. If somebody is coding and they're having a code blue, you're not now, you're thinking, uh, why is the person having the code blue? Is the person short of breath? Is the person is short of breath right now? I'm not now going to go and take blood pressure cuff and start monitoring. Breath. What? That's not what you're going to be doing. You have to give the oxygen is understanding order. You know, it, you know, you have to think about the, uh, what's going on. The person is short of breath, right? You have to do the right thing that will, uh, uh, um, will, will address that situation, right? You don't go and think about all these other things that are necessary, correct? So these are, this is how the NCLEX structures their questions. This is how they strategize their questions. If you are not confident, don't go and take the NCLEX. Go and take it when you are tired of all the questions you have been taking to practice. And you can almost dream the question and dream the answer. That is when you know you're ready. That is when you know you are ready to take the NCLEX. When you are so tired that even just your hand going in the computer, it wants to freeze because you are now tired. Then you know that, oh, I'm good. But if you kind of feel eh, like a leggy, like a leggy, like this, you know, and then you are expecting to feel confident in front of that screen where you're taking the NCLEX RN, then it's not going to happen, my friend. You're going to be as anxious as I don't know. And you're not going to pick the right answers. You're not going to be able to use your ju right judgment because your judgment is out the window. You are anxious. You are confused. You are not ready, you know. But if you have practiced the questions to the extent that you're even tired of looking at the screen. By the time you reach the exam, you'll be even tired of that screen <laughs> of the exam that you're going to be like, I can't wait to be done. That's why you've seen people just be done like this because they have practiced so much that all the questions they are seeing, they are familiar to them and they're not second guessing the answer. They are not allowing themselves to be fooled. This is what they, they remember the answer. It might not be exactly the same, but it might be similar to what you have practiced and the answers will be similar to what you picked. Maybe not exactly the same. Pick what you've picked before, please. Don't go and now start asking yourself other questions because if you do that, eh, you're not going to pass. So you are not going to pass. And I learned this while I was taking, um, you know, when you're in nursing school, at least in the United States, as you are taking classes, there is something called ATIs. For some people, I think it's called HESI. 
the school that you go to will choose which type of NCLEX practice material you'll be using as you're taking your courses. For my school, it was the ATI. And I remember back then, my goodness, the amount of double guessing I was doing and the amount of wrong questions. I think out of 10, maybe I would get one right. And it's not because I didn't know the material. It's because the way they were wording the questions was to frame my mindset of how will I work as a nurse when I'm on the floor? How will I be safe on the floor? Because it is not everything that you will know. It is not every condition that you will know. But what they're trusting is your judgment. Is your judgment here, your judgment here, because you've been equipped with what you need to be a safe nurse. But there will be situations that you may not know about. So what do you do first? How, what do you do that is safe? So my friends, if you have failed the NCLEX once, twice, three times, watch this video again and again and again before you even enter the exam room. Build confidence. Build confidence. Stop second-guessing yourself. Continue to practice the questions until you are tired. And trust me, you will pass the NCLEX. It will not be something that you cannot do. It will be a thing of the past. Okay, I am here to support you in any type of way. There will be more nursing content in this channel. If there is anything that you would like to see, please feel free to add it down below in the comment section. And until next time, I wish you the absolute best. Thank you so much for showing up. Ciao.